Guten Tag, good day. How are you, lovely human being, feeling at this moment? My name is Felicia Joy Clues, and in today's video, I'm sharing with you what vegan food I ate. I'm dividing this into different sections breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks as well as beverages. So I hope that you will enjoy this video. Just as an FYI, vegan food is not very common in the Gambia yet. However, during our last trip, we actually did find a vegan restaurant. If you are living in the Gambia, please show your support. Let's get into what I ate as a vegan person in the Gambia. Mango tree, cashew tree. There's a cashew that's done, and these mangoes are not done yet. My favorite breakfast to eat in the Gambia is from Bintis Bread Shop. Close to the roundabout across from the entrance towards Palmarima and Onyx, there's a stand. And I actually haven't filmed Bintis actual stores, so therefore I use Google Maps to show you, even though her stand is not visible on Google Maps. I like to order bread with akara, and akara is ground up black eyed peas, which is fried into balls. And in Wolof, we say mburu ak akara. And I sometimes switch it up to this vegan bean paste however my preference is definitely the akara. Binte also adds this onion sauce as well as some spicy sauce so if you're not into spicy food I would definitely recommend for you to tell her to not add that. From the Netherlands I brought my own vegan yogurt and I brought my own vegan cheese with me so whenever we didn't go out to get breakfast I could just make a cheese sandwich because the tapalapa the baguette is really nice. I was so excited when we were driving past DT Vegan. Of course, we had to try it out. This restaurant offers tacos, stir fry, and burrito plates. And they also offer the lovely local drinks like wonjo juice, baobab juice, ditach juice, etc. I'm so happy. We are at this vegan spot. And this is actually the first vegan restaurant we saw. We passed it the other day, but we didn't go then yet because we just had food or we had other, other plans. But I ordered two kind of dishes, a taco and a burrito plate. What do you think? Chill, nice place. Is it very hot? It's so good though. It is good spicy. I'm doing drips. It's good to do drips for me. In addition to bringing some vegan cheese, since it is actually cheaper in the Netherlands, we also brought some vegan cream cheese as well as pesto and a vegetable spread that we put on wraps. On avocado, I finished the spread I brought from the Netherlands. This uh, vegan cheese spread is almost done, salt, pepper, vegan mayo I found here. We were able to buy some vegan mayo as well as mustard from the grocery store as well as beans. When we visited family, they knew that I was eating vegan and they actually made some vegan stir fry which was lovely that was such a lovely surprise it was very delicious at Laika's restaurant we took some vegan cheese from home and they made a lovely pizza wow, it looks good though yeah. I am preparing some domada in our kitchen in this apartment which is awesome even though this is a lot bigger than we have at home <laughs> I still am cooking on only a tiny, tiny bit. Anywho, this is what's going on. I put in the oil and some tomato paste, as well as garlic, onion, paprika. Let that simmer for a little bit. And then I added some yumbo, jumbo, pepper, chili powder, and salt. Um, because I didn't use a whole jumbo. And I put a bit of tomato in, as well as the carrots with a little bit of water and then this is gonna soon go in. This is me from BB. I have some curry picked up from a vineyard. This is supposed to be nyambe ak nyebe sauce, but 
Um, it turned out into a rice dish with beans <laughs> instead. <laughs> In case you're interested in how to make palasas, I have made a video before so you can check out that video. But this is currently the situation. Oh, and if you are looking at this and thinking, this is not palasas, it's um, probably because I put a lot of vegetables in my Gambian dishes as I eat vegan. Um, and I just like the different textures in there, but I am aware that not a lot of local people put all these things in here, but that's okay. The Gambia has the most delicious fruit to offer. Since most of the fruits stay on the tree as long as possible, the fruits are juicy, flavorful, sweet. It's amazing how these fruits taste. Mangoes? Ooh, wow, they're delicious. There are a lot of stands next to the road that offer a lot of great quality fruit. So you can eat a ton of fruit. <laughs> This fruit is called kaba and a fun fact, the monkeys adore kaba. We usually add some sugar, some chili flakes, as well as jumbo to this and then mix it up. Sometimes add a little bit of water depending on how old the kaba is. The kaba itself is pretty sour, but mixed with all the ingredients, it's such a nice treat. You just eat the flesh off of the seed and then the seed you get rid of. It's delicious. I learned that peanuts are called groundnuts. These groundnuts are oftentimes raw. You can also get them cooked. In the Netherlands, I've only known peanuts to be baked. This snack is delicious. It's so lovely to also have more than two inside a shell. You can also get fresh coconut. And there are actually two kinds of coconut. There's the normal coconut and there is jelly coconut. This one is just a regular one. As a going out snack, we had some french fries winter juice yum i miss this <laughs> i learned that there's red wonder juice and white wonder juice currently it's the red and it's so good a lot of people enjoy drinking a tire, which is a very strong and sweet tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Leave in the comments below what food you would like to try. And I hope to see you in next week's video. And that's going to be a two-week vlog of visiting the Gambia. We just came back. I'm still over the moon. <laughs> the Gambia is so lovely. So lovely. Okay, again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!